Hi, I'm Ransom Stevens, author of The God Patent. Thanks for your questions. This week, I answer Karen Garber, who asked me in person, how can a jumbo jet fly that much weight get off the ground? This is the answer. It goes back to Bernoulli. So the airfoil on a wing, the cross-section of a wing is shaped like this. And what that does is that the air that comes on some of it goes under, some of it goes over the wing. Since the path over the wing is longer than the path under the wing, and the air has to get from one end to the other in the same length of time, the air above the wing travels faster than the air below the wing. Bernoulli's equation shows that the pressure is lower for air traveling fast than for air traveling slowly. So the pressure above the wing is lower than the pressure below the wing, resulting in a net upward force. Okay, big deal, you say. It gets more interesting. Working through Bernoulli's equation is essentially a conservation of energy equation. And that takes us to the principle that the energy in a system can neither be created nor destroyed, but can only change form. So the actual reason that a plane can fly is that energy is conserved. All right, well, let's take, take another step towards the fundamental. Nuther's, theor Nuther's theorem shows that conservation of energy goes back to the geometry of time. And that if I do an experiment now, I will get the same result as if I do that very experiment sometime later, like now. So the reason that planes can fly is actually related to the geometry of time. How do you like that? I love that kind of stuff. Anyway, thank you very much, and ask your question at Facebook, at YouTube, or send me an email, ransom at ransomstevens.com. I think it's right here. Thanks. Talk to you later.